Welcome to uh, Skyrim. Okay, let's take care of these guys real quick here. We got some Saints Bandits. I They killed off um, last time I was playing this. Wait, are we good? Or, oh, he's stuck in the door. Okay, uh, last time he had actually killed these guys had killed um, who, what, what's the lady's name? Oh gosh, I don't remember what her name is. The freaking blacksmith is like right there. It happens a lot. Well, uh, I, I'm gonna just... I really hope these bodies vanish eventually too. Ah! What is happening? How do I get to you? This lady! Yeah. Oh, the soldier's dead. No, no, we're good. Um, also, apparently there was a courier. I don't know. Yeah, so the Saints Bandits are going to constantly come after us. I don't actually know if they're going to be constant, but yeah, they want us uh, dead because we killed their leader. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this is for Kinthal. We had one for Sovereign earlier, but this one, uh, yeah, is the other, the other group. This is the Saints... Did, did she just moonwalk? Um, rather than the seducers. So, yeah. Uh, that's a thing that can happen. It's kind of annoying, actually. We wanted to actually finish up the Saints and Seducers quest. We have find more details on the bandit's new lead. And then also some stuff on the gold and... Wait, what did that say? What was that? Uh, hang on. The gold and dark equipment. So both of those we can do. The first one, we actually have to come down to Half Moon Mill, which we'll do. And then the other one is up here, um, kind of close to Windhelm. I think the first thing I'm going to do is actually head down to Half Moon Mill and get that. So I will just uh, meet you guys there. Did you, did you have anything for me? Nope. Okay, Sorry. good. That's, that's probably good. I feel bad for the soldier. Also, I have no idea what happened to that other person. Well, welcome to Half Moon Mill. Uh, there's a little arrow down here telling us that this is... Sister Rose laughing. Uh, where we need to go. We've got some notes. We've got some ebony ingots, some gold lockpicks, quicksilver. Uh, nothing. I'll take that. That's fine. Nothing else of real interest. Let's read Jofton's notes. An ancient battle site was discovered near Thoron's lair. On the ground, an assortment of weapons and armor of the Daedra known as Golden Saints and Dark Seducers laid strewn about. It is from this site that we took up their arms and joined together as bandit companies under their names. Since then, as the only blacksmith, I have taken it upon myself to study these otherworldly artifacts. And now, at last, my efforts have, my efforts to reproduce the exquisite craftsmanship of these great Daedra have finally borne fruit. My mind is not what it once was. If my memory fails me, at least these notes can help the others keep the craft alive. One would be foolish to forge weapons from gold, as it is far too soft, and yet the golden blades of the saints are nimble and harder than steel. How could this be? The trick appears to be threefold. First, the structure of the piece must be reinforced with refined moonstone. Second, the gold must be hammered into place while the gold is heated just below its melting point. Third, the introduction of the heart of a daedra to the forge when heating the piece so it can be hammered into shape completely transforms the attributes of the metal, giving it its uncanny hardness. The process for forging the dark armor of the seducers is similar, but requires more finesse, as you must balance shaping the unwieldy ebony with malleable quicksilver. The heat applied must be very precise, or the shape and integrity of the equipment will be ruined. As before, introduce the Daedric Heart to the forge as you heat the material. All right, so it looks to like, uh, I think that actually, does that solve that? That solves that. And what we'll do, um, we're gonna go do the other quest. Actually, we're gonna head back to, uh, I think the easiest thing to do would be to head back to Whiterun, grab some items, and, or at least check out the forge while we're there and see, see what we can do. Welcome to where we were going, apparently. Uh, hi guys? Why are there Imperial soldiers here? I don't know. Um, so there's a bandit's note on hidden treasure here, as well as some other stuff. And if we go ahead and read 
the bandit's note on hidden treasure, it says, uh, ex or, an exotic treasure is said to be hidden in Crystal Drift Cave. Heard it from a coinless trader trying to save his own skin, going to send a few to see if his story checks out. If the story is true, we will need to make sure the saints don't find it first. Our benefactor will be pleased. Uh, so we need to go to Crystal Drift Cave, which is... Actually, I have no idea where that is. Where is that? Hey, tell me... Tell me where this is. All the way down here next to Riften. Wow. I walked all the way up here for for this. I don't even know what's going on here. There's actually a lot of cool stuff here. There's some dark maces and stuff. I am not joining the Legion. If I do the Legion and stuff, that will be the last thing that I do. Um, I have no, no need to do that. Also, uh, real quick here. I completely forgot that for smithing, you need rank 90 to unlock Daedric smithing, and that's what we're going to want to do. So, um, I'm going to just probably end up doing that maybe like... It's going to be rough because getting up to level 90 <laughs> off screen um, is going to take some time, but maybe it'll be something I kind of stick in at the end to kind of show off that stuff um, so I don't have to grind on screen. Anyway, we're heading to Riften. Let's go. Right, so, um, long story short, we're here, and, uh, I think Cicero's battling it out with some stuff. I also think that there is a vampire over there. Um, we're not, we're just not. We're kind of at the point, I need to re-kind of do everything in between. Yeah, I'm glad, actually, you're here. Um, I need to redo some of the stuff, um... Uh, between the new levels and stuff and like everything. I am not powerful enough and I'm getting owned quite a bit, so I need to go through and fix that. Ow. Bear, what the hell did you come from? And it's not from the common enemies like this, it's from kind of the other stuff. And I kind of knew that was gonna happen. I'm not too happy about it, but I kind of knew it was gonna happen. I need to go over there and grab the thing. Let's clear this area out though first, I think. That's it though, right? Looks like that's it. I've actually been in this cave um, in my other games. Just interesting. Okay, well anyway, if you do this, you can read uh, Gad 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 Gadnor's last Something or another. Gadnor, my trusted friend and companion, has been laid to rest. I have built a shrine to watch over him and bring peace to weary travelers. With the few riches Gadnor passed, possessed in life, his most prized possession was a warhammer made of jagged crystal he famously won in a coin toss. After months of research, he came to believe this hammer was some sort of otherworldly treasure. Shortly before his passing, it was his wish that it be hidden away until one who has walked the Shivering Isles emerges to retrieve it. I have followed his instructions to the letter, and a powerful illusion spell now obscures it. To break the spell, one must first acquire pieces of what supposedly make up the weapon itself, amber and madness ore. Such things, if they actually exist, would be great treasures in their own right. If the enchantment is correct, only by placing the ores into the embers near Gadnor's body will the spell be broken. If Gadnor is not mad, perhaps one day this peerless weapon will find its way into worthy hands once again. All right. So, um... We, we have, do we, do we bring some of that with me or did I drop it all off? I amber and do I have madness or with me? I do. So we're going to go shove that into that thing over there, but uh, let's go ahead and just pray. Oh, okay. Let's place some uh, amber and madness. Oh, or we got nerve. Oh wait, we have somebody up here. I didn't even realize that Gadnor was up here. And there's a Staff of Charming. We're gonna leave that. I'm gonna take Nerve Shatter though. I'm also gonna take back my Amber and Madness. Thank you very much. And we've got a new weapon I'm never gonna use, which is Nerve Shatter. Target takes 30 points of shock damage and half as much Magicka damage. Actually, that's not a bad thing uh, to to think about. It's pretty good. All right though, but that, that pretty much takes care of uh, all of that type stuff like we've finished the saints and seducers so um we're gonna move on 
Okay, I had to do a quick check to see where the things were. I can never remember like the parts of the map, but we're going to the Reach now. Now there's the Lost Valley Readout over here, or Redout? Red, I don't know, that's not how you pronounce that. There's definitely something, I, there's a way to pronounce that. But over here there's the Runoff Caves and Caverns, and that's where we're gonna go to, I think we can do the next, one of the next big quests that was unlocked for, um, the anniversary edition is part of the Creation Club stuff. Oh boy. These guys do not give up. Am I going to be dealing with this for the rest of the freaking game? I'm not damaged. Okay, good. What the heck, man? I'm not okay with- I need to get behind you because uh, we're going to end up in Skyrim and I don't feel like dealing with that right now. Jeez. Like, seriously, again? I'm take this. Um, wait, where did the other one go? There's one. There's two, okay. Okay, well, anyway, moving on, I guess. Um, yeah, let me meet you over, uh, over there. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Are you kidding? No, wait, leave the hunter alone. I can't believe this. I was out just walking around and yeah, one of the hunters transformed into a werewolf. I kind of knew, you know, that these guys were, um, that they were werewolves, but I did not realize that they would transform in front of me. That was actually kind of cool. I don't know. We're in the reach currently. We just walked by uh, the Lost Valley place and we're headed up, well, we're hopefully headed up this really steep hill to the cave that we're going to. Are we here? Oh my gosh. Trolls. Um, that looks like where we're going. What are they doing? I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna kill you guys because I, I need to get in. Um, and I don't know what's happening otherwise. Cool. All right, so here we are to the runoff caves. It should be, the entrance should be around here somewhere. Is it up top? Never actually done this quest. This is another one of those anniversary Quests. Uh, yeah, best guess is it seems to be up a little higher. Uh. Okay, I have no idea how you were supposed to get up here, but I just climbed vertically to <laughs> through the mountains. Um, here is the runoff caverns. Okay, we're in this time. Uh, basically, I entered and the whole game just cra crashed. But we are at Runhoff Caverns, and uh, we can head on in. Now, it looks like there's a couple things here. What is happening? At? Yeah, like, it's very loud in here. All right, so requires key, so we're not going in that way. Can I uh, spawn our friend? So maybe uh, Cicero has somebody to talk to that's not me. Why is it so... I can't hear myself thinking in here. Uh, Well, here... Here we are. I have no idea what all that noise is. Looks like we found some things. All right, so we're definitely in some sort of dwarven ruin. That's really cool. Oh look, I can find a potato. Yes, that would be fairly useful here. Seriously, what's happening down there? Why is it so loud? Sounds like there's something walking around. Is that just me? I'm leading. I'm confused, but I'm leading. Well, let's head in and see what we've got. This is part of the Forgotten Season stuff? Is this what's making all the noise? Oh, 
Why are the ballistas moving? I'm not like that. I'm not like that at all. Uh, okay. Looks like we got a lot going on, unfortunately, for us. Um, so I chased it across this bridge. Looks like there's some stuff down below. Did Cicero just run off? Well, I guess we can go down first. That's fine. Find out what's so thonking in here. Did you guys kill it yet? Probably should give Cicero a better weapon. Hmm. A bunch of stuff that looks more- ah! Oh, it was just a spider? There's a mercenary. That's probably not good. Ooh, ebony war axe of expelling. Nothing that I want. Yeah, at this point, uh, things are too heavy. This looks good. What's in here other than spiders? Uh, yeah, these, these are spider workers. They're a little more tough than the regular spiders. Not really. It might be kind of hard to see because it's hard to see on my screen. It's pretty dark in here. But, uh, okay, we'll just keep going. I like how the spider workers are not aggressive, apparently. I'm pretty sure they are, but whatever. Uh, where, where am I? What is this place? What am I doing here? Why is it so noisy? Uh, it looks like we're back over to where we were. That's not useful. Okay, let me head back then. Okay, maybe this leads somewhere else. Let's just keep going deeper into the... Whatever this place is. Uh, looks like just like a dead end. I was just checking to see if there's anything down here. Eh. Not really worth going down there. Wait, did I just go back? I just went back. Well, have I told you recently that I get lost easily? Because I get lost easily. All right, what's what's new in here? Okay, looks like we got some more spider workers. These ones are not docile. There's more, or is this where we've been? I have no idea. <laughs> but there's a door over here, so let's um let's go check it out. White cap, huh? Oh, it's locked. Some of the fan made stuff, and this isn't uh, this isn't this is just a, I'm not trying to pick on anybody, but some of the fan made stuff tends to be really windy and a little less straightforward than the officially made stuff and that i mean it's just a thing but it is kind of annoying sometimes when you're trying to get from point a to point b and it's a little bit more twisty turny this isn't terribly bad but Ugh. easy guys there's a lever up there hey up I don't want to be attacking geometric shapes today. Can not. Actually, these guys, eh, not today. Sometimes they carry rare gems. Y'all y'all can handle that, right? Like, y'all can just solve that. Cool. All right, well, there's half. Ow. Do you mind? I'm actually surprised these aren't guardians. Usually at the level I'm currently at, we would be getting Dwarven Sphere Guardians, not just Dwarven Spheres. Not great to go easy on things, but yeah, like there's, this looks like, this looks like it should open. Hmm. Well, let's keep exploring. Looks like they finished off one of the other spheres. Best guess. 
Let's see here. Got some of these really cool, like, uh, I don't know, stone things. Hey, look, there it is. Follow the lights. That was basic game design. Follow the lights. Let's head back up here and let's go across. Oh no! All right. Are we ready? Probably not. Let's stumble this before we start punching it. Looks like it's daytime because we have started our weapon is now fire instead of ice. That's cool. Did I? Oh! Create a tea. That was pretty cool. Ooh, we got a runoff caverns gate key. So that's coming with us. Looks like there's more enemies, but I'm not entirely certain where we're going with that. This isn't poisonous water, right? Uh, dwarven metal ingots. Don't really need those. We'll take these amethysts, though. Dwarven armor of the night. I'm assuming that was set there because it's like a really fancy item that we can use, but I honestly don't care. This is a dark ass hallway. I need to get like, do I not know mage light? Um, illusion? Looks like I don't. Oh, I do actually. Hang on. There we go. That will help. I hope. <laughs> I know it's like super dark, so um, maybe we'll uh, be able to see what we're doing from here on out. Probably not. It at least lights the immediate area. Wish. It... Hello, mercenary worker, huh? Let's take out. Oh wait, the mercenaries are not friendly. What do you mean the mercenaries aren't friendly? We don't even know who they are. Why are we attacking them? Cicero, I don't know why, but I'm sure this is your fault. Like, absolutely certain that this is somehow his fault. Okay, well, let's just keep... Keep going here. Looks like there's another lever in here? Where does this one go? Oh. Well, there's half. Cicero, Cicero, you're in the way. Okay. Where's the other lever? Is it down here? I think I came here for like puzzles. Oh, my candlelight went out. Um, oh boy. Okay, well, let's relight that because we're probably going to need it here. Light this up. Let's go ahead and give ourselves some healing and let's pull the lever. Luckily, these are just basic centurions because there are the harder ones. I really prefer to not. Fight those if we don't have to. Hi! Oh, spiders. What? Those spiders? My butt! Stop attacking me! Okay, well, we'll go ahead and grab whatever's on this guy. Ha! I forgot I had that quest. And I think that means, if you can see past the candlelight, that gate is now opened. Or the. Well, I guess it's kind of a gate. It's a fence thing. It's now opened. Can you get out of my face, candle? It's not what I'm looking for. Uh, okay. It's kind of hard to see past it, isn't it, as we're going upstairs? Kind of annoying. Um. Oh, maybe we can cross this way? To get over? Is that where I need to go? Mother's not with us, Cicero. We left her back at the sanctuary. Assume she's being taken care of. So wait, the lock, the key works on everything except for this? Uh, 
Whatever, I guess. Emerald, gold, uh, sure. Nothing else of interest. This is an ominous hallway, if I do say so myself. Oh good, more guys. Why did that door shut? That's- oh! Yeah, that's why that door shut. <laughs> I did say it was an ominous hallway, I wasn't expecting it to be freaking haunted, but whatever. Alright, let's continue then. Seriously, what the heck was that? That was creepy. Was that door even supposed to be open or was it just the game freaking out? I had a really fun glitch yesterday when I was playing kind of a, my own game. Um, everybody was stuck in like a walking animation, but like like mid animation, just sitting there. It was uh, weird. Kind of annoying actually, okay. What are the dwarves doing? Oh good, another one of these. Come here, friend. Not friend, walking. Oh my god, stop moving. That's all I need you to do is to stop moving. Oh, what's happening? That was weird. Oh! Oh, those bolts sticking out of my leg. Oh. Let's pretend we didn't see that. Alright, activate that. Oh, mercenary. What opened? What's happening? Oh. Hello. Stairs. I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. It's just, that's just where we're going. Oh, wow. I can see a lot up here. This is not very conducive to us uh, getting and taking care of our armor and stuff, but that's okay. What is. Seriously, what is that noise? It sounds awful. So much thunking. Who's? <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't been using my shouts as often recently. Not that one, at least. Really should. Could be the edge of battle. Okay, so. Okay, they're coming. <laughs> They're a little slow, but they're they're on their way. All right. Looks like we're following this golden path at this point. Though the golden path now goes two different directions. Let's uh Oh, it looks like this is probably where we need to go cuz I bet if we put this down. Oh, maybe not. I thought maybe I don't know what's happening over there. Looks like they're fighting somebody else. I was thinking there might be another pathway over here we didn't open, but no, we're good. Oh, this is the way back, isn't it? Okay, no, we opened up the way forward. So that other path that we could follow is, that's actually really cool. That's a quick way out if we need to get out. Oh, I didn't want the longbow. There's a variety of things I don't need, and that is definitely the top of the list. All right, you guys good? All right, let's go follow the other pathway then. That explains why it was getting so loud in here, because, um... What is half Forgotten Seasons? Okay, so let's take a quick look. We've got Investigate the Ruin, and that's... Where we're going. Okay, oh, oh, oh. That's where we're going. Probably be semi careful here to not accidentally end up zapped. Is this a. Oh, it's a mercenary wizard. I explain why. Th oh, explain why things are so freaking loud in here. Oh, sorry, Cicero. Maybe you should not jump in. Wait, is that an off that word? Is that. You'd be somewhat careful not to get zapped. Because it definitely looks like that is something that could happen in here. Okay, well let's enter the ruin, shall we? <laughs> okay, can you not? I don't even know what's going on. We're here! And uh, investigate the mage's camp. Looks like we need to go. 
down here. Things are, um, the dwarven crown. Oh, hey. So, oops, that's, that's not a J. That was an F. Uh, retrieve the dwarven crown. We've also got the forgotten season, so let's go ahead and take both of those. Looks like we've got some absolute chaos here. All right, let's read. Oh, actually, there's the dwarven crown here as well. Oh, boy. Speaking of dwarven crown, we really don't have a lot of stuff, like, like, carrying stuff right now is, uh, not good. Did I pick up anything that we don't need? Hmm, what about apparel-wise? Let's, um, we'll put down some of these various things. Hey, Cicero, can you, can you come here? Let's actually give some stuff. Um, here, I need to rearrange your equipment. That's disturbing. All right, uh, let's give him, um, what do we have that we could possibly give him that would be particularly useful? Actually, he could probably carry some of our amethyst and stuff as well. So let's actually go ahead and give him some of our ore. We'll grab that from him. Um, whenever I get to out of this place, I'm going to head back. I don't know why I didn't unload all of my stuff while I was at. Oh, you know what? I know what it was. I was going to do that in between episodes, going to unload everything. But uh, Christmas happened. <laughs> anyway, let's read that book, shall we? Let's see. Journal. I have split the mercs into groups and explained how to disable the conduits in each season using simple words for their infinitesimally small minds. To their credit, some of them decided to take notes. It would be easier if they simply read the account of my previous expedition. Of course, doing so would make them aware of the horrible fate that befell their predecessors. I have also told the men to be on the lookout for other curiosities such as dwarven insects, dwarven mounts, and three dwarven crown masks we uncovered in our last foray. However, the main prize in this tomb of inclement weather is the turn of the seasons a magical spell that legends say is cast not by the spellcaster but by the weather itself once you read this tome and are imbued by it. with its power they say the rain will grant you a silver tongue as charming as a spring romance summer's sweltering heat fills you with stamina when dressed in light armor whereas snow's winter snow offers wait what Winter snow offers a boon to heavy armor wearers. Meanwhile, the crowds are clouds are a gift to hunters, their bows cutting through the autumn wind. Such a prize must be deep within the ruins, perhaps in the chamber of the one who orchestrated this unholy sky. All right, so it looks like we are after, did we get a quest update? Looks like we've got a whole bunch of conduit stuff. Yeah, we got a con uh, Forgotten Seasons book. I'm gonna take that, thank you. I'm gonna take all these scrolls as well, because I'm sure they will be useful. I don't know what's happening, but it looks like we're gonna be going through four seasons to figure out what's going on. Venison stew, I'm taking that, thank you. All right, so let's, um, let's take all this. Looks like the lightning may have killed them. I'm actually not sure. Can I not get up here? This just ends. Not like that's ever stopped me from um, going up here. What is this place? This feels this feels backwards. Summer's Courts. Let's get out of the lightning because this is absolutely annoying. You got everybody? Come on, everybody. Let's do at least one of these today. What do we got here? We got Mercenary, Note on Summer, Spider Control Rod, okay. Let's read the notes on summer. Uh, note on summer. The boss says we can use one of those control rods to make the metal crawlies open the way. Supposedly you just point the thing at one of those round waypoints and the spider does the rest, but I don't know how to fire the rod. I just hope I figure it out before I collapse from all this heat. I can almost smell my blood cooking. So it's hot in here. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting out of this. And we've got the spider control rod. So let's go ahead and equip that because it looks like we're going to need it. Repair spider release lever. Wasn't oh, it cute? Okay. So it looks like we need to send this guy out. All right. Well, let's, uh, nope. Oh, yeah. There we go. 
Did that not work? Okay, so it looks like the spider will open up things for us. That's cool. <laughs> I'm really not interested in picking up anything big. Uh, it looks like there's this. I assume there are multiple ways to go. Cicero, Cicero, come here, little one. Thank you, Cicero. Okay, so it's telling us to go here, so let's, uh... Wow, I suck. There we go, that should work, right? Oh. Did, did it work? Did not work. Oh, gosh. Okay. So that did something. I'm guessing that turned off the conduit? Or maybe it was the first part of the conduit? I don't know. Let's keep exploring. Are we going to be fighting things in here? Because this, this spider rod is not going to be helpful. If... Okay, yeah, there's things to fight. Let's go ahead and equip... Uh, Don Fang. <laughs> they fell. Okay, uh, let's, let's be cautious as we walk through here, because this looks like a painful death awaits us if we fall. The flame Atronachs seem to be fine, though. It is what it is. Okay, that doesn't look good, but it looks like whatever we're looking for is over here. This looks hot. Uh... Okay, um, wait, I need... Maybe I should favorite that. Did the spider follow us? That's not good. Ah! What the- What have I talked- we talked about, po you know, poking me in the butt? Because seriously, it seems like every time I turn around, someone is poking me in the butt. Did spider get here? I don't- See a spider, that's not useful. Alright. Well, now that we have the full group then. Ugh, these guys. Oof. I woke everybody up in here. Um I'm a little nervous about walking this way. Alright, everybody, come on. Ow. No, no, no motion, no gain, I guess. All right, ow. All right, let's do this, you dwarven centurion. I don't know if this particular uh, dungeon has a uh, limit. Oh, I got a, that was a fun kill cam, bye. Peace be with you, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know if this particular dungeon has a level limit, actually. Okay, let's grab that. Thank you. I think I need to feed Cicero. <laughs> but I did lose my spider, so that's not particularly useful. Let's just see if I can go find it or get another one or something. Okay, we went and found the spider. Can you move, Cicero? Um, we need to make sure that we kind of like bring it with us because it looks like the spider has a hard time figuring out like where it's supposed to go. Uh, it doesn't have really good pathing, I should say. Which I actually kind of remember as like a problem. Let's see. Uh, we haven't been, like we haven't been through this way or anything. So let's actually bring the spider here. 
And then let's go see what's down here before we continue. There's a lot of these areas which there's like fire and flames and you have to be somewhat careful. Ah, yes, here we go. Nope. There. Okay, let's make sure we're not in the way, children. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the spider's pathing issues combined with these two clowns. There we go. Not good. I also need to make really sure not to jump down because that would be really, really bad. Come on, little spider. Okay, another part of the conduit down. Let's make sure we bring him back. Yeah, if you make sure, if you don't accident, like you, you do need to create some level of pathing for it to follow. Otherwise, you will be sad. All right, everybody here. So we have also not been this way. So let me go see if there's another area in here. This looks bad. Let's bring Don Fang with us here. I feel we're gonna probably be attacked. What did I say? All right, actually not that bad. These are just spiders. Okay, let's re-grab the control panel or control rod. All right, can you come here? All right, here it comes. And there. Let's move out of the way, please. Come here, children. Don't, Cicero. I'm not the right person to murder here, buddy. Okay, so this should then therefore take care of... Come here, kids. Come on. Come here. Okay, so that takes care of that. Let's go ahead and bring the spider back. God, this is terrifying having to walk on these tiny little places. I'm glad Barbus isn't with us. All right, so that should bring everyone with me. All right, so let's go ahead and start moving this way. Spider making it, all right, cool. Make sure to, you know, like not let Cicero just yeet me from this. Okay, now I think there are two okay. more. I have been this way. God, this is actually kind of annoying. This is like advanced uh, escort quest. Ooh, okay, keep going. Cool. And uh, can I just... Nope. Nope. There we go. Alright, let's... Alright, kids, come on. Get out of the spider's way. Come here. He's, he's doing alright. There's that one. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we've been through. This is not it. We need to go, I think, to the other side now. I really wish I could hear the full jokes of what he's talking about and not just like half the jokes. This should lead it in here. Let's take a step out of the way. Oh, there's a chest in here. Uh, nothing of super interest, but that's cool. Ah, could you all stop that? It's really annoying. Okay, so that takes care of all of those. So that should be, that one's out. It's 
not set ourselves on fire. Not that it really matters. It's not gonna hurt all that much. Let's keep bringing the spider this way. Now I feel like we need to bring our spidery friend this way. Are we all coming? Are we all good? Okay, cool. And we already took care of this guy, so it should just be a straight shot this way. Okay, there. Everybody step out of the way. Spider's coming, right? <laughs> just wiggles right through, okay. Oh, okay, and this looks promising. Let's go ahead and search this chest while we're at it. Ooh. Ooh. Dragon plate boots of eminent stamina. Uh, I like the look, but it's not particularly useful here. What's he doing? Here. Can you... Okay, did we not get all of them? Like, did I miss one? Okay, so um, I think I found another one. <laughs> I don't know if this is the final one or not, but uh, yeah, this one's closer to the front actually. Uh, it's right in here. This seems to be the only place I haven't been, so we're gonna hope that this is this is what we need. Yeah, I think you're supposed to work your way back. I messed that one up. Of course I did. So let's bring the spider a little closer. Okay, so it looks like we have finished the conduit for summer. Where's my Don Fang? So let's head on back. I don't know if that actually like did anything. Uh Nothing else in here, okay. Oh, I'm just stuck on the floor. No dear. But it does look like that's it. There's nothing else. Nothing else in here. No, okay. So let's head on back then. Okay, well, let's head back out to the front here and see what we can, well, see. So it looks like if we head this direction, hoping there's really no enemies over here, but it looks like there's a couple different, that looks incredibly freaky. We're gonna pretend that's not there for right now. <laughs> looks like there's a uh, winter. I'm gonna take a sneaking suspicion this is probably spring. Uh, fall is probably right there. So next time we'll do some more of that. Maybe we'll find out what that weird critter over there is. I don't think we'll be able to go in there quite yet. Maybe. I don't know. Well, we'll see, but maybe we'll do spring next time. So I will see you guys then.